Okay, this one's on a uh, medium temp reach-in commercial cooler. And I got this thing because nobody could uh, find the leak. It kept leaking down and they finally just decided it wasn't worth keeping. So I thought I'd kind of show you what I found on this thing and what the problem really is. Okay, here's a look at the top of this thing and they said they put dye in it. I actually tried a black light on it and I never found anything. But uh, underneath that plate that has the uh, says the dyes in the system is the evaporator and you know I looked around for oil and so on didn't see anything put high pressure in it and I thought I'd show you what we found I kind of zeroed in on the evaporator on this thing uh, partly because I couldn't find any oil slicks or anything on anything else and uh, partly because evaporators in these things are very common to get leaks. There's acid in things like salad and the like that will sometimes uh, penetrate any coating that's put on these uh, evaporators and actually corrode out uh, the evaporator. Okay, here's a look at the coil removed. And I want you to look close at the U-bends on this coil. Now you can see I picked out a specific U-bend because I have already found the leak on this thing. So let's see if you can see the leak. Okay, there you can see it. Just bubbling out of that U-band. Now this is coated. It's got a uh, coating on the coil to try to prevent salads and the like from causing uh, uh, corrosion on the pipes. But uh, this one is leaking. No place else is it leaking. This is the only spot. If it had several spots, I would uh, throw the coil away. But because it's only got one spot on it, and I've thoroughly tested everything else, uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair this. Okay, looks like we're pretty well done there. I do, I'm going to have to admit something here. I had probably, when I started sanding this off, I got a couple, three other leaks in it. In that same U-bend. Uh, if I was doing this uh, commercially, this is just a test mule, but if I was doing this commercially and I found that many leaks in one of the U-bends, I think I'd replace the whole coil. Either that or the entire unit. Sometimes it's worth it to replace the entire unit. Anyway, I did braise this up and we'll see if it holds pressure. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's done. Uh, remember, I uh, probably would not do this on a unit. Uh, well, if the customer wanted it done, I guess I would. But uh, this seems to me like it's probably going to have more leaks in the future. Anyway, that's the braze joint on it. We're going to uh, evacuate and recharge.